Yeah, I cast Norris to the channel devoted to the key to adult toy collector, pop culture fans, and fellow nerd enthusiasts. This is a PG-13 channel. I might say some shit. Viewer and parental discretion is advised. Hello to everyone out there from the deep blue sea to Proxima Centauri. It's time for another episode of Diecast Norms Galactic Hooligan. Today, I'm actually going to be taking a, taking a look at a special dude. For the longest time, Rumble has actually been, this has actually been my Rumble. He is such a sweet character, you know, like I love this, uh, the tank mode that comes out of this guy and everything, gotten from the Legends version of Transformers in Japan, or from Takara, he was actually hard to find, and I was actually supremely heartbroken when Hasbro actually promised this guy and then took him away, you know, because like they decided that he wasn't good, that he would actually be the cancelled item, and uh, he was actually, I was so looking forward to having him for the longest. I searched everywhere. Then finally, some guy actually sold this to me super cheap because the frenzy version of this actually broke and everything. So I lucked out. I actually had my rumble. But now, Hasbro bought us something new. Once again, Hasbro is coming out to have make me spend my money by giving a studio series rumble here. And he's blue, everyone. He's blue, just like he should be. You know, like this guy is actually awesome. I've already checked him out. But will Studio Series Rumble take the place of this guy? Well, let's find out in today's episode. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I would sorely appreciate it. As I'm actually trying to make my channel grow and everything, I'm actually going to head straight into 1,000 from the 595 that you guys have actually given me so far. So for all of that, I thank you. But there is much more. Grow into, uh, grow into my channel, hooligans. Come join me and Let's check this guy out. As you can tell, I'm already excited for my last Hey Man, What's in the Box. So, if you haven't checked out my excitement there, please do. And let's go check out Rumble. For the longest time, I've actually been looking for the greatest Rumble. And I really thought that I actually had him in this guy right over here. This guy is actually super, super awesome. And I actually did a review on him a while back and everything. Yeah, and I, I really think that this guy's actually great. I don't, always, as always, Rumble is actually the most true blue Decepticon that we can actually have and everything. Like, you know what I mean? He is uh, not only the Pesci of Decepticons and everything, but he is the most, one of the most loyal Decepticons, if not for Soundwave. Uh, I really think this guy is actually got a, what it takes to actually be a true Decepticon warrior and everything, true to his cause, will actually always have his uh, friends back and everything, unless it's like maybe Skywarp or something, cause like, you know, fuck him. But anyway, but like, let me tell you something. This guy is actually super fantastic. He even came with pile drivers. Like, look at this guy and his magnificence. This guy is actually super awesome. I didn't think that we would ever get a rumble that actually fits the bill, but then Studio Series actually came out and then all of a sudden made a rumble that actually really fits the bill up to his bluish purple and everything. First off, this box art is actually phenomenal. I really love this. I wish everything matched up to what was actually going on over here and everything like that because I'm actually loving the sheen of these guns here and everything like that. His piss, his blasters are just really great. There goes the back of the box and it's actually cool also and everything. Doesn't really uh, change a whole lot from what we actually have and everything. So here is Soundwave with Rumble in his uh, chest and everything. 
and that just looks great and again if any Decepticons actually is actually going to carry his whole crew on his back it's Soundwave you know along with like all the other Decepticons and everything I love this I'm actually wondering what we're actually going to be getting for Studio Series and everything like that if we're actually going to be getting this Soundwave for Studio Series or if we're actually going to be getting something else or anything like that because like Studio Series has actually made me start really thinking of ways that the, the uh, that Hasbro can actually upgrade all of these bots and everything like that and make us spend more money by the way but like still yet though i don't know if i'd actually be complaining as much or anything like that because based on both uh rumble and friend and um and ironhide actually so i might be thinking of uh, uh future projects and everything like that with this mold and everything because already i'm actually thinking of like what we're actually going to be getting as far as frenzy is actually concerned um this version of rumble i really wish he actually fit in a lot better here and everything i have to put this down a little bit more he doesn't really snap in as well i think he might be a little bit too big for this casing here and everything but there he goes right there and he does really look the part of rumble here i really love that and if you actually want to get super iconic here and everything like that there he is with all his troops in his chest that is actually super 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 cool i kind of wish that this were a little bit deeper and everything like that to get more characters in there and everything but then you'd actually have to try to figure out a way to like get everybody out but let me tell you something this guy is actually super 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 cool i really love what they actually did with the cassette and one thing that i actually think that soundwave lacks in that blaster actually su actually succeeds in is the fact that we actually have this uh cassette area here and everything where i'm actually hearing that rumble actually fits into a lot more eloquently than he did with soundwave uh yeah there we go and once you actually put him in you can actually and he ejects that's actually really cool and i really think that it actually has to deal with the broader way this chest cavity was actually done and everything you know so that is actually there's something that he said about that there all together and everything and if they actually really do rework soundwave and everything for studio series i really hope that we actually get something like this as opposed to what we actually have over here with uh, this chest cavity and everything like that being kind of like a little bit thinner and everything like that because this looks like it's actually like built to withstand some time you know this one over here I kind of feel like we maybe get we may need like an upgrade or something like that to actually make that work a little bit better even though it's actually still cool I really still love Netflix Soundwave you know but like this all together I think actually just like holds so much better against time and everything like that I love that anyway so let's do a comparison between eject and rumble here and they are really really cool looking together and everything you can actually see that they actually had like a little bit of inspiration I think when it actually came down to the way that they actually did uh, eject over here you know just very cool I love the cassette like I love the cassette labeling here and everything I'm just gonna give you a couple of quick comparisons we actually have rumble laser beak ravage and old school rumble here and when you're actually looking at this right over here that doesn't really look like they're actually that much bigger from the other or anything like that I think they're actually kind of like measure out to be like pretty much the same but I kind of feel like this one actually kind of works a little bit better with Soundwave. there we go and you can actually put that in does it yeah there he goes and I don't know what it is is there like a slight variance or like maybe a millimeter more that this was actually uh, that uh, a little bit of a millimeter more that this one actually becomes a little bit bigger I don't really know like but like I really love this far more than I actually love this guy right over here because like I really thought that this was actually okay you know he actually came up like a little bit more squat and that sort of thing but when it comes down to this I think they really thought of everything when it actually comes down to this guy let's get rumble into a little bit of a transformation and let's see his brilliance and shit it is 
really simple to transform Rumble. We're actually going to get him from like kind of a semi crouching position here. So all we want to do is move his legs down, move, accordion them out. Let's take these feet out right over here and let's let that connection be like a little cumbersome. And there we go. And there we are. And I don't know. Oh, there we go. You can actually kind of like move it a little bit by the plastic on the bottom. Let us move his arms down. There we go. On some really, really stiff joints on the inside and everything. We'll move his hands outwards. There we are. And there we go. And finally, the head reveal. We'll just like lift this right from the back and turn this around. And there goes Rumble, who is actually ready for it. Can I tell you how much I love Rumble? I love Rumble so freaking much. I, I, he is just really so awesome. And again, as I actually said in my, uh, hey man, what's in the box? All of your thoughts are moot because now he is blue the way he should be from the longest time. All your arguments are invalid. He is blue and look at this guy. This guy is just super fantastic. He actually does come with a few accessories and everything. You actually have his pistols right over here. So let us add that onto his back right over here. And get the other one off of his pile driver. And you can actually store it on his pile driver if you're not using them whatsoever in tape mode. But there we go. There's a little bit of a gap and everything like that, but nah, I mean that's the one thing that I can actually kind of like uh, that I can kind of ignore altogether because of the size and everything like that. But here he goes in all his goodness. This silhouette of Rumble actually is everything like look at this guy look at this guy let me give you a close look at that that face is actually really really cool angry as can actually be the one thing that i might have on mine is like there might be a little bit of bleeding like right over here on the side of his face but he's actually crying tears tears of blood you know what i mean like look at this guy this guy is freaking that amazing you know and just let me give you a little comparison to his face over here now this guy is awesome supremely awesome but did this rumble actually take over as my primary rumble i mean what do you think like this guy is just really great and fills me with all the g1 goodness that i actually had when I actually had the actual figure and everything. Like, this guy is just so spot on. It is just incredible just like seeing him. His, uh, his um, articulation actually goes like this. So he actually has a, a 360 right over here, uninhibited due to a ball joint in his back. Just let me try to clear that up for you because there we go. So, we actually have a 360 right over there. He actually has a 360 all the way around and everything. He actually has that ball joint right there, so it's uninhibited. And he can actually go in and out. He can actually go all the way up here if you actually need that as added articulation. So, that's cool. He actually has an in and out on his wrist. No wrist articulation. And sadly, no um, no articulation right over here on his uh, elbows either or anything, which is actually kind of sad. And I kind of feel like that's the reason why they didn't give us any like wrist articulation or like any uh, elbow joints right all together, because this is actually going directly into his elbows. And I kind of wish that we could have actually gotten that and everything, because like I think that this uh, that would have actually made this guy a lot more well-rounded and everything all together there I don't know if they could have actually put like a small hinge like right in the middle over here and everything and still made it average out and everything like that but at the same time I think they were actually still working on the humanistic silhouette here and everything like that for the arm reach 
as opposed to like where his arms actually fall by his legs and everything like that. Because if you know anything about like drawing or anatomy or everything like that, he's actually pretty well balanced and everything. You know what I mean? His arms are actually where they actually should be. His head in conjunction with his uh, with his arms and his legs, they're right where they actually should be. It's not like floating someplace in the front or anything like that. So like. They actually did a pretty good job at modeling this and everything like that. I just wish that they could have actually done it. Now that I've actually seen this, I kind of like get exactly why they didn't do it that way or anything like that. But I'm also wondering if it would have actually been more expensive to actually make separate pieces and everything to actually follow an elbow articulation, you know? But anyway, so he has no waist articulation, sadly, also due to the way he's actually transforming and everything like that. He actually has a couple of mushroom pegs that actually make up his, um, his in and out right over here. He has full supreme kung fu and everything like that, so not bad for a guy from Brooklyn or everything like that, you know what I mean? He is just really great. Uh, I told you about the in and out. He actually has an extreme knee bend right over here due to transformation. So that's actually great. And he actually can tap his toes right over here. So not bad at all. He actually has pretty much everything except for the elbow articulation, which is actually kind of, again, it's kind of sad. But it, well, I mean, what are you really going to do there? I mean, that's pretty much the way it is. Rumble actually does have a couple of weapons and everything. He actually actually has his pistols right over here which you can actually peg into here and that looks pretty cool and everything so you can actually have him dual wielding and everything like that so that's actually pretty great although I really still wish that they could have actually made it where he actually had his weapons in his hands right over here and everything or they could have actually I don't know like I don't know if it would have actually been like more obtrusive to actually put like a hole right over here so he can actually have his weapons in hand and everything like that kind of sad but it is what it is you know but even if you actually decided to use it this way it's actually still something that actually works and uh, yeah I still dig it I really love this so much so along with that let me just put his guns right back over here he actually comes with something that all good rumble should actually have and that is pile drivers look at this oh finally we actually have a rumble that actually comes with pile drivers and because he's actually at the core class, uh, he's actually at the core class value, I really think that they actually used it pretty well with like being able to uh, with being able to implement pile drivers and everything. They actually don't like uh, go in and out like pile drivers should actually do on their pistons over here and everything. But I really, really love this so much. All right, everyone. I wanted to do a side note to this story and everything because I just found out something really, really interesting. So you know how Rumble isn't supposed to move his pile drivers? Well, I found out that you can actually move the pile drivers. They actually are built into this little thing. Just let me kind of work this over here with my sweaty hands and that sort of thing for all of your delights. But it actually does come, these two actually do come as a separate piece. So there's like that little piece right over there. That is actually Blast FX compatible and uh, compatible for all your weapons. And you can actually move them in like so. So you can actually kind of like mimic the whole pile driving experience and everything like that. So if you actually wanted to use it for animation or if you actually wanted to use this as a way to display your rumble and everything, it comes off thus creating that illusion for pile drivers and everything. And that is actually really awesome. That actually just boosted this rumble up to immeasurable means and everything. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Now that rumble can actually do this, this, uh, this actually kind of like made him uh, 40 or 20 times better than I actually thought he was, you know? So this guy is actually 
fundamentally great. I'm still holding by what I actually said about the uh, about the uh, shoulders and the arms and everything like that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now back to the video. Much like the fact that Rumble actually has pile drivers at all. I'm actually really, really shocked at everything, you know? And they're really easy. They just go off and on. They're actually frictioned in here and everything. So just uh, be careful with like getting them on and off and everything. All you're doing is like putting the hands in and putting these things on. And that is just so great. I love this so much. And you can actually friction like uh, weapons in here or something. I'm pretty sure you can actually blast effects this thing and everything so you can actually have the pile drivers from hell you know what I mean so just really really cool let me give you a couple comparisons here goes rumble and rumble creating some drum and bass together and one thing that I actually have to say about this version of rumble as opposed to this like you actually see a lot of the premium work that actually goes into this rumble including with the paint and everything I kind of wish that we actually got that chrome paint going in in here also and everything or at least it would could have actually been made with like a with like a um, silvery plastic or something like that like that would have actually been great too but um, I don't know like it's actually still cool that we're actually even getting these whatsoever and everything like that so I'm actually not gonna be too sore or anything like that but I really wish that this actually did have some chrome let me go on for a little bit of that pseudo G1 flavor here we go into Flavor Town with Rumble, Ravage, Rat Bat, Laser Beak, and Soundwave. There's Rumble and Hound at Sherman Dam, and Hagrid's Hound proved to Rumble that he could fight. Here's Rumble and Sludge, and Eject and Rumble. And one thing that I wanted to point out here is that in this, they actually did give uh, Eject over here a couple of... Uh, a couple of uh, elbow joints right over here and everything, you know? But again, it's made a little bit differently and everything, so Rumble's hands could actually go into the forearm. So again, could it have actually been solved? I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I'd really like to think that it could have actually been solved with like maybe a couple of like really intelligent uh, choices and everything like that with like smaller hinges or something. But then again, we would actually kind of like see this kind of like drop off and I, I like uh, we would actually see like a lot in the way of like hands like these arms actually falling off and everything. So I'm not exactly sure if they could have actually built the tension that was actually needed right over here in order to keep the hands uh, all together and everything. But there we go. By the way, this is actually made by Larkin's Lair. So these uh, guns are actually like really great and if you actually wanted to get them you could actually get them right over there but there we go and every time I think that I'm actually really through with like uh with explaining rumble you know there's always like another comparison that I really want to delve into and everything like that so here goes the um what was this again the siege version of uh rumble or frenzy of rumble whichever one you want to call him but he's rumble to me he's blue is always rumble you know, but there he goes with Rumble, and uh, you know, I am so super happy that they decided to like go back and remodel this guy and everything because everything that this guy is is everything that this guy actually wishes that he could have actually been. This kind of reminds me of like the old G1 cassettes and everything like that. Really, like not a whole lot going for them and everything, but now blessed with super tech, uh, with super articulation and like better technologies and everything, we actually have this guy right over here. I am really, really glad that they decided to like go into studio series and make this a uh, thing that uh, I and mean, he really is beautiful. He's actually a great, great figure and everything. Solid plastic. I really love the quality of this and everything. Again, the one thing that actually messes things up and everything like that's probably going to be the arms and everything. But because of the way it's actually built and because of the fact that I really thought they really kind of like intelligently went into this and I would like really kind of fathom whether or not they could have actually like made like a couple of like cuts here and there and everything like that to give us elbows. I really think that they actually went uh, they went into it and examined this a lot and everything like that because of the way he transforms, because of everything that he actually does do. I really don't know if there was a way that they could have actually done that or anything like that. But 
Prove me wrong, third-party people. You know, like, make some new arms for this guy and everything like that. Let's see if they actually come out as cool as this one actually did. So, for that alone, I think might give Hasbro and Takara a pass and everything like that for this one, you know? I really like this guy a lot. I'm going to give you final thoughts in just a moment. So I think I've actually told you about how much I love this version of Rumble. But was Studio Series enough for me to replace him? God damn you Hasbro, you made me do it again. You made me go off and buy another figure that I think I needed in my collection. I surely, sorely did. This version of Rumble is actually really fantastic. Again, I really am missing the thought of like having the the elbows and everything like that articulated and everything, but for stability, for the fact that he actually transforms in this small little tape guy, and I think that they also might have actually kept into consideration the stability of adding the uh, the pile drivers into his arms and everything, but he is fantastic i really love this guy so much right now i'm actually super happy to place him into my decepticon deck to further complete that co part of my collection and everything of 1984 decepticons and this is actually really great i think that i'm actually coming closer to finishing off that collection if i can actually get frenzy in this real soon i'd be super happy really happy hasbro but let me tell you something this guy is great i highly recommend this guy if you're actually a rumble fan and if you do get him i think you're actually gonna be super super happy again i could have actually loved i would have loved for these to be chromed out a little bit or something or maybe silver paint or something like that i might do that on my own who knows you know but this guy completes this shelf. Where's my frenzy? And also, maybe another Ravage or something like that. I think we might be over, we might be due for a better made Ravage and everything. You know, I love Laser Week. I don't have like real qualm with how he's actually made or anything like that. But if we could actually get Studio Series in that and everything, I'd be really, I'd be really surprised. Also, what are you guys thinking about Studio Series Megatron and Optimus Prime? You know, I'm going to talk about this some more in like in my uh, Ironhide review and everything because I actually have some thoughts brewing and everything, you know? But in any case, I love him. Highly recommend it. Go out and get him. He's awesome. And that's it for me today for this version of Diecast Norms. And I really appreciate you all joining me once again. I really hope that you actually come back again and everything. I'm super excited. I can't wait to check out Ironhide. I think he's actually going to be in my next review. So stay tuned. Come back to me real soon. And remember, treat yourselves and each other with kindness. Make sure that you're kind to yourselves, especially because mental health is a thing. And kindness should actually be for you and only you. And that's how the way I'm actually leaving that. And also, when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. I'll definitely talk to you all soon.